Welcome back to Ferris Sports Update. Time to talk Bulldog hockey with us, head coach Bob Daniels. Coach, uh, welcome to the show. Always good to be here, Rob. Obviously uh, here uh, coming into this weekend, a uh, lot to play for here in the, the final month of the regular season. Uh, some big games coming up in terms of the playoff play. Yeah, it, it is, it's, it, and it's unusual for us uh, in some respects. Normally we're pushing for home ice, maybe the league title, and this year we're, we're pushing just to make the playoffs, and, and we've got a work cut out for us. I still have very high hopes that we're, we're going to make the playoffs. Uh, I've seen some really positive signs going back a couple of weeks ago. Uh, the, the series against Bowling Green, we were really good. We split that series. We could easily won both games. They're a very good team, top 20 team in the country. Um, this weekend, though, we took a, a step backwards on Friday night. We came out very good in the first, and then uh, throughout the course of the game, we ended up taking a five-minute major. We fell behind from one nothing. We fell behind three to one, and I did not like the way we responded when we fell fell down. We did play much better on Saturday, but it, it's you know at this point, much better is not doing it. We need we need some wins, Rob. As we go to the highlights of Friday's game, uh, back uh, at home for the first time in a month or so, and uh, going to be nice to have uh, some home games here in the final month of the season. It, it will be. It, it, it's going to be for us, and and. Uh, but but it's only nice if if we get the win and you can see we're late in the first period here we're playing pretty well it, it's um, uh, zero zero and just like what's happening this is a great individual play by number ten here Norris he strips the player of the puck great feet out front we're up one nothing with two minutes to go in the first right the next shift we take the five minute major they score a goal now it's one one going in at the end of one but we should have been fine. We had to kill the remainder of the five uh, the, the five minute major in the second period, and they scored twice more on this five minute major. Even though the one won't go down as a goal on the power play, uh, it basically would just clean the guy out of the box right now. They get the two on one. We're down three one, and from this point on, I I was I shouldn't say from this point on. We we, we gave up a uh, gave a little fight at the end of the third for no other reason than it it, it, it was a good launching point for us on on Saturday to start, but you know, at this, like it's 4-1, we're not playing well defensively, we score another power play goal, that gives them three, actually in reality four power play goals of the night, so our penalty kill wasn't up to task, but you know, okay, I, I give us some credit here, we're still fighting, we're going to get some opportunities, but it's a little bit too little too late, Rob. Obviously, uh, you did outshoot uh, Lake State uh, here with, uh, with a big third period, and we'll see uh, after this one, uh, get a couple uh, goals uh, here late to kind of make the score a little bit closer. Yeah, well, it, it does. It, you know, at this point, there's three minutes to go. It's 6-1. We, we know we're not going to win, but I, I do give the guys high marks. We wanted to set the tone for the next night. Um, and and uh, so we're to play hard to the final buzzer. Uh, if anything, uh, you know, it, it does give us a shot of confidence as we move into Saturday night, and it's good to get a couple. Uh, you know, I look up at the clock as a coach. You see, you're down 6-3 with a minute 13. I start thinking, do I pull the goalie? You know, it's stranger things that happen, but we elected not to that night, Rob. Obviously a tough loss on Friday night, uh, but you come back on Saturday night and, and obviously got off to another good start. We did, and, and, and uh, we, we jumped out to a one nothing lead at the end of the first at 0-0. Uh, but but we played much better the whole night. Uh, I got to say this: Lake Superior State's a very good hockey team. Obviously, uh, here uh, the second night, and after a ceremonial puck drop, uh, you had a chance to honor some of the fall All Americans during this contest and a competitive game that uh, really went to the wire. Yeah, it is, and we we did get a chance to to honor um, uh, some of the uh, the outstanding athletes and coaches uh, from the fall sports, and that was exciting. It was good to see a lot of them there, and and, and uh, it was good to be able to honor them. Um, but you can see this game is really hard fought. It was tenacious at 0-0 at the end of one. Uh, but it was a very physical, very tough series here. And here we get our first goal uh, on the power play. Great to see that. Uh, and then um, they do tie it up here in the second, but it's a much different field this night. We, we stay on task almost the complete game. Obviously, uh, they got that goal. They'll come back uh, with another goal here to take a 2-1 to one lead. But uh, your kids, uh, again, battled back. and found a way to, to tie it back up. Yeah, we do. It, it, and the game really is a, a pretty much a dead heat. Um, and, and I felt good about how we played, really from start to finish. Another really nice play by uh, Cooper Zeck, our freshman uh, defenseman. I, he leads our team in scoring. He leads all freshmen in the league in scoring. And he's probably one of the top three scorers in, in, in the uh, WCHA. So he's having quite the year. 
Obviously, they get the goal uh, right there at the end of the second period to take a 3-2 to two lead uh, here into the third period. What, what were some keys here in the third period? Well, we're down five on three here, and I, I didn't, you know, so that's another power play goal we give up. Um, but I didn't feel as, you know, the first penalty was the, the real, uh, to me, a, a penalty that we should never take. It was an offensive zone penalty a long way from from the goal. Here you can see late in the game, we do have the goalie pulled. We get numerous chances. So, you know, we were right in this game, but we took a really dumb penalty. And then I thought the official made a poor call. And, it re and when I, I see poor call, you know, here we are in a 3-2 game late in the third period. We had just got called on a penalty that we deserved. And then a really ticky-tack call to, to put us down for almost an entire two minutes, five on three. I think even if you ask the official right now, if he had to review it, he said that was, you know, ill advice on his part. It, it's a tough job. It really is, Rob. It did, that cost us the game, you can't say that. But it was a penalty that at that time I thought was, was, was not a great call. We'll put it that way. And then um, we weren't able to get the kill. Obviously, uh, you put this weekend behind you now, and uh, another tough opponent coming in, Bemidji State uh, here on home ice this Friday and Saturday. Yeah, well, it's, it sounds redundant when we were saying, hey, we, we've got a, a tough opponent coming in, but that's the nature of where our league is right now. This is the strongest I've seen the WCHA in our five years in it. And uh, right now, I believe we have three teams in the top 20. We have two in the top 10. We've got another one in the top 25. It's a very difficult league. It's a great league, and it's good to see. But it, it makes it challenging for us. And Bemidji State's one of those very, very good hockey clubs. What's it going to take uh, here over the next few weeks uh, to, to pick up some points and, and hopefully move into that conference tournament? Well, what we're doing, uh, Rob, we, we certainly aren't concentrating on the, on the big picture right now. And I know that sounds funny, but rarely do we talk. I mean, we know where we are in the standings. What we're talking about now is, is to be the best prepared team we can be for Friday night. And I think we're getting close. We just haven't been able to put it all together. And one nice thing is we've gotten some players back. Uh, Riker Killen's back in the lineup. He played great at Bowling Green. This weekend, it, it looked like, you know, he started to show a little bit of wear and tear. And, and I get that. He was out a long time. We got Justin Campbellmaster back. He played Friday night. And we were able to play Roman uh, Selman Kangas on Saturday. So now we're able to split goalies and keep them fresh. So I like where we're at. Uh, we're going to have to play better on the penalty kill. Uh, we're going to have to stay stingy on defense. Well, Coach, thanks for being with us. Uh, best of luck this weekend, Friday, Saturday, 7.07 p.m. Thank you, Rob. We'll be back with more uh, coverage here on Ferris Sports Update right after this.